Despite the unusual number of shark attacks off North Carolina's coast this summer, seven since June, I'm punching the shark, trying to get the shark away from me. Shark attacks are still very rare. What's even more rare? A 3,500-pound great white shark with a remarkable Twitter presence teaching researchers more about the underwater predators. Her name is Mary Lee. Since being tagged in 2012 by nonprofit shark research organization OSEARCH, Mary Lee has been on the move. She's covered more than 21,000 miles in the past three years. OSEARCH scientists are hoping to glean some information from Mary Lee about the hows and whys of sharks. International shark attack file curator George Burgess, an expert on this topic, appeared on several networks just in the past week to explain a mixture of factors contributed to attacks off North Carolina's coast. More people using beaches, sharks following their food, high water temperatures, etc. Ultimately, though, that doesn't absolutely explain why we've had uh, seven incidents in three weeks. Pinning down a single reason for the attacks seems unlikely, as does identifying culprits. A marine biologist at the University of North Florida told a Wilmington, North Carolina paper there are 10 species of sharks that frequent North Carolina's coast. But OSEARCH scientists believe Mary Lee is the key to answering at least some questions about sharks and how they tick and answers could be coming soon. Where do they give birth? Where do they mate? And Mary Lee is coming up on completing that first full migratory cycle. Wow. And if she returns to Cape Cod this fall, it will really put the pieces of the puzzle together. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.